Before words, there were sounds. The earliest humans likely used rhythm and sound to communicate long before they had developed language. Archaeologists have unearthed instruments as old as 40,000 years. The bone flutes of ancient Europe being some of the oldest. The hollowed out bones of animals with carefully placed finger holes give us a glimpse into a world where survival and celebration were accompanied by simple yet evocative music. In these ancient communities, rhythm mimicked the natural world. The footsteps of an animal, the crash of a waterfall, the whisper of wind through the trees. Early music wasn't just a backdrop. It was a tool for communication, a way to evoke emotion and a powerful force for social cohesion. Imagine our ancestors gathered around a fire. Their lives, shaped by the cycles of the earth, were mirrored in the steady pulse of the drum, a rhythm that connected them to nature, to each other, and perhaps to something greater. Instruments like the lyre made from turtle shells and the didgeridoo from Australia's Aboriginal cultures highlight how humans have used the materials around them to craft sounds. Early African communities also used instruments like the djemba drum to accompany ceremonies that still resonate today. As societies grew more complex, so did their music. In ancient Egypt, musicians were highly regarded, playing lutes, harps, and sistrums at religious ceremonies. In the courts of pharaohs, and at grand festivals. The melodies of ancient Egypt were not just for entertainment. They were believed to bridge the gap between humans and gods. In Mesopotamia, the first written records of music emerged on clay tablets, showing scales and notations that informed the playing of harps and lyres. Meanwhile, in Greece, music was so intertwined with philosophy and the cosmos that thinkers like Pythagoras developed the concept of the music of the spheres positing that the planets and stars themselves emitted a form of divine music. In China, music took on a philosophical role. Confucius believed that music was a moral force, capable of transforming the soul and creating harmony in society. The Gu Qin, a plucked seven-string instrument, became a symbol of the scholar's path, serenity, self-discipline, and spiritual reflection. So was music purely for the enjoyment of the elite, or was it something far more sacred, an attempt to understand the universe itself?